Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. We're pushing forward in our war and slowly but surely we're actually accruing a positive monthly balance which is going to be very useful. We can maybe build some more Achilles class. They've been very effective. Our destroyers actually have done a pretty good job of getting in there as well. In fact I think just because of their size and the difficulty of heavy ships to target them they may pound for pound be better torpedo ships than my Achilles class. Now that probably makes sense just by I mean the nature of a destroyer is really more much more of a torpedo uh, ship than the light cruiser is. Uh, but I was kind of expecting with the speed of 30 that my light cruisers could get in there. However the one thing I did not consider is the fact that the torpedoes for the Achilles are separated by uh, the middle of the hole. <clears throat> so although I have 12 above water, this can only be 6 and 6, right? And th this actually does, I think, significantly d um, diminish its ability to launch um, a huge barrage of torpedoes. Whereas the destroyers can really do this much more effectively. They just pull up alongside and they can blow all like 11 of their torpedoes at the same time. And um, usually you don't need to go back in for a second torpedo run, nor normally do you even want to go back in, because after your first barrage you've probably taken a bit of punishment, and it's a little risky to head back in. Well, other than that, I guess we just keep pushing on, huh? And this is why the giving the army money just doesn't make sense to me. The victory point swings are so so minor. Um, like if we were able to use our if we were able to use our battleships to our, our land army forces to conquer adjacent regions, territories. That would be very interesting. Okay, that, yeah, well, let's take a look. What is the majestic? This is what? They're copying my design. They're doing the superimposed with less turrets. Those bastards, they've gotten smart. I mean, this is truly a, a behemoth. That look at that armor. That's gonna be very difficult to penetrate. 16 inch turrets. Very, very, very good ship. Oh my gosh. I I mean, the only thing that you could... That's, that is a great ship. 25 inch guns. Very effective at shooting down, destroying the destroyers. Pretty good at destroying light cruisers as well. I'll tip my hat to the Majestic. That's a good design. That's a very good design. A little low on the conning tower if I'm if I had to criticize anything. Yeah, that's a good ship. That's a good ship. Okay, we're continuing to sync things. We're still weighing the pros and cons of using unrestricted versus prize rules. You know, unrest can increase with an unrestricted, but it doesn't look like it'll actually get another nation involved. Which is good because we are at the doorstep of war with Russia. Okay, well, the Donau is still doing okay, but since her condition has gone down to fair, I'm still going to move her back. Actually, no, we really... I would like to continue blockading. Hmm... Well, what do we have all these ships for if not... Oh, never mind. We have our... Oh, uh, these guys are still warming up. So this is with advance... Yeah. This is a very interesting ship. <laughs> a dreadnought with a speed of 26 knots at a displacement of 20,000 with still a 12, 11-inch broadside. This is such a funny ship. I'm really so glad we made it. If you just... Not, if just like blindly compare this with the Majestic class, which is double her tonnage. 
she stands a decent chance of winning an engagement against her. Just because she has enough 11-inch guns to, well, I'm not sure how much they'd even penetrate. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. The main, uh, <laughs> the main advantage of this one is it's a, like a torpedo boat. An anti-dreadnought torpedo boat. So it gets close, it launches all its torpedoes, and then hopefully it sinks. It depends on how much torpedo defense the Majestic has, which we... That's information we weren't privy to, unfortunately. Well, I don't know. Uh, they're still warming up, so we shouldn't move them in yet. We'll just grab two Habsburgs. Habsburg and the War Games, I guess. And actually, let's grab the Nike Manticore, see if she can get some action in Northern Europe. And she can go directly there. That's good. And we'll also get the Habsburg. Actually, we'll get the Habsburg to Northern Europe. And we'll cycle the Trieste down to West Africa. Okay, very good. I forgot to go up to unrestricted, because I think it is... Oh, we're just losing submarines like crazy, though. It doesn't look like there's going to be another battle. Uh, I don't want to accept this, because I think they will accept, and I don't think it's going to be with our battleships. Okay, fine, I'll just do it anyway. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. It's just destroyers... Well, this is pretty stupid. It's very unfortunate. We'll kind of toss around our rear destroyers, these guys. And but I think the front ones are Spilato. Okay, let's get this stuff. Ah, what? Pause. How do I pause? <laughs> um I was expecting us to run into some ships as contacts, but that's not going to be the case. Let's go to line of breast. Now let's go with line ahead for these guys. And let's just go to line of breast, turn together with these guys. Well, we don't need to do that quite yet, actually. Okay, so we're gonna go. I guess we don't really need to go much more than cruise speed. These uh, destroyers accelerate pretty quickly. All right, continue on. There's the unknown ships. So it's going to be a torpedo duel, and I, I really hate that. I hate everything about that. Just trying to cover my Spilato class. I'd prefer they not get hit. Let's go down to normal here. Okay, they're obviously set for torpedo launching. Whoa, shoot. I said I wanted this guy to dip down. Uh, bother. Yeah, well, no surprise we're getting hit by torpedoes. <laughs> okay, let's encourage torpedo launching. It's not going to do much, but it's possible that... Oh, man. Damn it, that's my Splato class, you bastards. Damn, what, where is our destroyer accuracy? It's it's horrendous. Oh my gosh, whoa, how did that miss? H how did that miss? Goodness gracious, man. How did that miss? Uh, this destroyer just went right through this. You can rewind the video if you want to see it. This destroyer just somehow dodged this torpedo spread, despite the fact that the length of his ship is longer than the spread distance. I don't know. It's <laughs> it even looks like one of the torpedoes should have been here is now missing. But we got no. Uh, maybe it was a dud. I mean, I, it, does, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. <sighs> well, 
We'll get up and close and fight. I don't... Up. Oh. Okay. There's some ramming going on. Well, we have a very good view of their Flamberg class. It's a little heavier than us. They have better weapons. Ugh. Disaster. <laughs> okay, well, let's get everyone to spiral in here. Maybe we can take advantage. <laughs> tried to launch torpedoes at them. <laughs> and we missed from point blank, which is funny. Everyone just keep circling this guy. Try to take one down with us. Yeah, well, th I think that was pretty obvious. As long as we can sink the other one, we're okay. I think I have, yep. I have ships not going the right way. So I'm going to take this as a, a victory. It's a weird victory, but we sank one of their better torpedo destroyer classes, which makes the Ferris Diner um, kind of a heroic unit, destroying its destroyer, ramming its ship into the enemy, sacrificing itself for um, the good of the fleet. Uh, you can even write this up in a PR report that this ship was trying to save these innocent merchants from harm. You know, some kind of silly thing like that. But obviously at this point, um, we're going to sink that ship and... Okay, now we hit it with a torpedo and I'm pretty confident we're going to win that. Okay, let's get everyone together, clumped together, because it looks like their destroyers are making a return run. And we've scared them off again. It's kind of an interesting fight. Uh, I would, if given the chance, I would not fight it. I would decline the battle next time, but it's not the worst one. Just because of this interesting little happening. <laughs> the problem is they have four four-inch guns, and we have three three-inch guns and two three-inch guns. So we're just greatly outnumbered by the firepower of these two destroyers. And I just don't want to waste a Splato class on these guys. My destroyers are not meant as anti-destroyers. Like, everything in my fleet is an anti-whatever, except for my destroyers are not anti-the same. What I mean to say is, like, my light cruisers can fight other light cruisers. My heavy cruisers can fight other heavy cruisers and, and expect to win. Not my destroyers. My destroyers are really like the rock, paper, scissors game. They get smashed by their own, but uh, they should do a pretty good number on dreadnoughts, heavy cruisers, all those big ships. This is so annoying. I'm just, I might just let them sink my fleet because I'm, I don't want to deal with them. <laughs> Maybe we can slow down to the merchant ship speed. Go on, give me, give me this blood out. Go, yes, just in time. Looks like they're moving eight knots. Okay, speed this up a bit. I think at this point, everything's going to be fine. No more engagements, so we'll just let it run. Huh, pretty interesting. I was not expecting, when I knew it was a destroyer engagement, I wasn't expecting that much excitement. And just about done. There it is. So it's still a French victory because they did heavy damage to one of our other ones. Yeah, it's just a stupid fight. Really stupid. But I saw that there was 80 or 90 victory points to decline that. And I was thinking, you know what? That's enough that it could be something heavier. Heavier ships. But I was wrong. Oh well. Gotta admit when you're wrong. I forgot to go to unrestricted again. Hmm. 
take that. <laughs> oh, wow, four. That's significant. Okay, well, let's accept this. This might actually happen. Damn it. Come on. No. No more convoy defenses. Screw that. Just want to make sure everyone's doing okay. I just want to check out the... Okay, the Habsburg needs to make a return trip. And uh, maybe we'll send another battle cruiser in her stead. All right, War Games, you're up. And War Games, maybe if you bring back some kind of kill, I'll build some more submarines on your behalf. Unrestricted, here we go. Well, I didn't see anything there. Oh, hey, we're actually able to engage. Who is it? <laughs> the Tonow. <laughs> of course. Looks like we have some submarines here, though. That's pretty cool. Well, it is a heavy cruiser, and that's probably a bad thing, if I'm really honest, because it's probably not up against another heavy cruiser. I don't think there are any. We can quickly check. They don't have any heavy cruisers, and they have 12 battle cruisers. So, um, that's not a good thing. Not really. It won't stop us from trying, but my heavy cruisers are meant to sink other heavy cruisers, but definitely not battle cruisers. Battle cruisers are like the really, truly the anti heavy cruiser. Hmm. Which way is it going? We basically just need to get the hell out of Dodge immediately. It looks small though. It is a light cruiser. Okay, all right, we'll take this. It literally is a destroyer. Well, when they said small engagement, they really meant it. We probably won't be able to catch up to this guy. Hit him once. Oh, they're actually coming in on us. No doubt a torpedo run? We'll be very... Ah, uh, let's just double back. No, no, no. Let's go in. I mean, we've hit them a whole bunch. I'm surprised they're not sinking yet. There's another two hits. Okay, there it is. <laughs> Final hit. Sank it. Very good, very good. Okay, well, that's really not interesting, but there it is. The government of France has collapsed in revolution. The prime minister has been deposed. They have been forced to accept harsh peace conditions. All right, so what ship do we want? Well, the important thing is, oh, this looks good. This looks very good. Eight 16 inch guns, 14 6 inch guns, two torpedo tubes, so submerged then. Pretty good. The main reason I would take that from them would probably be just to immediately scrap it <laughs> and to eliminate one of the best sh uh, flip sh bleh, ships in their fleet. This one's also not bad. The top two, or this one, or the one below it. So my f choices are the Charlemagne, uh, the Guidon, or the... Oh, this is another Rune class. Okay. Well, we don't want that. We have one of those. One of those is enough to lord over them. Otherwise, it's 8 16-inch guns or 10 15-inch guns. The Dreadnoughts have a speed of 23, which is pretty good. Hmm can't see their armor. Speed of 28 is just pretty darn good. You don't need armor when you have a speed of 28. Eight 16 inch guns. 
Very light on the secondaries, the 14, only 14 6 inch guns, which makes me think that it should be pretty heavily armored. Okay, yeah, I don't think there's any reason to choose anything but this one. Yep, let's just choose the Gaidan. And yes, we'll take Tunisia. I don't think we're actually going to take any other place. I mean, we could start spreading out into the Caribbean, which would give us good grounds for going to war with the United States. But I don't think it's necessary. I just don't think it the spreading our fleet out. We are we have to be like uh, cautious about expanding too far just because okay, I'm lazy and I don't want to deal with the foreign stations. I I really don't like that. Well, let's see what we could get. We could get Haiti and Antilles. Yeah, we can definitely get them. I don't know where New Caledonia is. Where the hell is that? New Caledonia. Let me just search it. Is it in... Oh, okay, it is in... Uh, it's in Asia. Okay. Yeah, we don't want that one. So these are all... It looks like these are all um, Southeast Asia holdings here. So aside from these and, and Antilles, I, it's really... That's, that's like kind of near... Um, South America, right? Or am I crazy? <laughs> I uh, can't remember. Google Maps, help me out here. Yep, yeah, Caribbean Sea, very good. Okay, the Google Maps, when I actually searched for it, gave me something in San Diego. That's not what I wanted, but... <laughs> but it said something about the Caribbean Sea, so I'm assuming... So, do we roll the dice and just take two of their holdings? I guess let's do it. Let's not... Let's not wimp out. Let's take them. Alright, let's see what remains of our submarine fleet, because I know we were pretty heavily punished. Well, we have quite a few. Fifty. Yep, we have enough. That's more than Germany had at the start of World War II. If I'm not mistaken, they only had like 46 or something like that. I can't remember. It, it might have been more than 46. But I don't know why that number... Maybe because I'm playing as U-46 in Silent Hunter 3. But for some reason, that number came to mind. Well, we are the clear dominant force in the Mediterranean, which gives us good grounds to go to war with Great Britain. And now we're trying to expand our influence into the Mediterranean, which gives us good grounds to go to war with the United States. And my hope is that one of those two nations will be the nation we're at war with coming soon. Now, here's the problem with the Caribbean. It's two jumps away from the Mediterranean, which is a real pain in the butt. Yeah. See, getting something in Northern Europe would make sense because then my triangle of provinces would all be able to reach each other in one turn. As you can see here, but that's not the case. Mediterranean is two jumps away from the Caribbean. Let's get the guys who are in Northern Europe over to her. Oops. Okay, let's just get the war games over there. Oh no, wait. Nike Manticore? Yes, Nike Manticore. That is more fitting per her per the literature. <laughs> Being thrust into an abandoned system. Not that the Nike Manticore was, but Mad Caribbean. There it is. Um, and we got to remove our other ship from Northern Europe. There's no point in it staying there. So War Games can come back home to the Mediterranean to complain about submarine usage. Why we tolerate her, I'll never know. And now we can take a look at this. Yeah, she does have very good armor. <sighs> Conning Tower, what were they thinking? Like, ugh. Yeah. I can't fix that either. That's just completely stuck there. But this makes sense. This is like a hood style battle cruiser. And if I do a retrofit on it, I actually. Okay, it's at, it said 28 knots, but now it says 27. They lied to me. 
I'm pretty sure it said 28 when I was getting it. I mean, those are some massive guns. <laughs> well, if we were to do a retrofit on it, I would definitely take down the secondaries. How much does that help? I mean, geez, man, if we were to retrofit it, holy cow, this... <laughs> the amount of space we have on it is ridiculous. She already has... She only has improved director. Oh, yeah, we actually do need a retrofitter. Well, we'll give her the same treatment that we gave the Lemberg then. We'll make her a fast. She she should have to, yeah, she has 28 according to this, so I don't know what's going on. Oh, wait. That's the Lemberg. Whoops. Yeah, this one also has 28, so it's some kind of bug that we only has a speed of 27. In fact, that's weird. This one is reporting 26 knots, but when I open it, design for rebuild, it says 28. Um, what? This won't take any amount of money to do, and it should get her speed back up to 28, so I'm going to do it. And we can get the higher quality guns. That's one thing somebody mentioned. I'm sure it was Blinson? Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing it was Blinson. So yeah, let's get this uh let's get this ship back up to higher speed with better guns. Yep. Not that we have the budget for it, but we'll do it anyway. Now how much would I get from just scrapping this thing immediately? Pfft, pennies. Nothing. Okay, well, I guess we'll do the same thing. We can get her better six inch guns. I would like to increase this if I could. Oh yeah, we got tons of space. Drop our secondaries down to four. I don't think, there's not enough of them to be significant anyways. We'll take them into single turret mounts as well. And I forget what quality guns we have. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have quality one 16 inch guns. That's what I thought. So we should be able to upgrade this um, Gaidon class to quality one 16 inch guns. Which is so threatening. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> Just terrifying. Yeah, let's do it. I don't know why it's not giving me... Oh, okay. This. Local yard. Yep. Very good. Drop this down to four. Um, we'll bring the turrets up to 13. Would hate to lose it due to a turret hit. In fact, we'll bring it up to 13.5. Her top of four is sufficient, I would say. Oh man, no torpedo defense. What the hell were they thinking? I might have to bulge the ship. We'll do it just for this one so we can I can showcase what that does. It's supposed to have a speed of 28. It currently has a speed of 27, I think. Yep, 27. Uh, and it's gonna have a lot less speed when we bulge it, but it will give it some small amount of torpedo defense. And that's probably necessary, considering she's such a, a big ship, it's not worth losing over a single torpedo. What in God's name? It's a coal burner? <laughs> this is getting really, really, really expensive. You know what? I, I'm almost thinking it's not worth refitting her, though, with oil. Yep, I think it's not. Stupid French and their coil bur coal burners. Ugh. It's just disgusting. Okay, we're gonna add some more torpedoes, I'd guess. 
ugh, bulged. She won't end up being all that fast in the end because of the bulging. Hmm. Well, we'll give her a bunch of torpedoes anyway. Good. In fact, we can upgrade. Maybe we'll. Uh, let's see. Okay, let's. I guess we. It doesn't really make any difference. We might as well just add two more. <laughs> can I don't think this can happen. Two. Ah, it does work. That is a mean looking broadside. Of torpedoes, I mean. So she is going to have. 3, 3, 3, 2. 11 torpedoes per side. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Oh wow, that's. That's a lot. <laughs> yep, that's a lot. Okay. Oh man, I wanted to get this up to 16 though. So let's delete. Let's just delete these. And delete these, I guess. Hmm. Could take the ammo down by one. That's going to save a lot. Okay, now we can add. What do we have? Okay, let's add these back. I think we can get two. Three? No, two. Yeah, that's good. I like that. So now we have eight guns per side. They're in casemates. Let's go to this. Damn it. Why does it take... Ugh. It's weird. I'm gonna just leave them in casemates then. This would be the most helpful, but you can't jump right there. What we could do is try to experiment with the option of double refitting her. Oh my gosh, we're so close. I thought, I thought that would do that. Ah, brother. Okay, F and G get added back with only two. Well, that's what we're going to do then. We're going to try it this way. And then I'm going to refit her again with double turrets to see if it's possible to do that. Okay, that's fine. Oh, whoa, 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 yes. Do that as well. Yes. Okay. Except this is what I want. Whoa, holy cow. That's a lot of money. And she'll take eight months of money like that. Damn. Freaking things are expensive. The French just make such garbage ships. Who doesn't put torpedo protection on in 1920s? Ugh frustrating but that's all right we'll call this episode to a close here um, we'll muck around with ship designs more in the next turn remember we do have to build our behemoth it's coming very soon so stay tuned for that i guess otherwise thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video